welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a big canvas. It is a 15 by 30 gallery wrapped canvas, level three artist loft. And got it taped off and our um, giant push pins tacked in it. And I'm feeling like getting my Kathleen Osmore on. Yep. I want to do maybe some traveling ring pours and some tilting, some swiping, maybe a little Gail Bernstein sh smearing involved. We'll see. Um, the colors we're using and the pouring medium. Okay, we are using Mix Pour that is by Carpata, and you can pick this up at www.carpata.art. And I have mixed all my paints with it. It's hard to give you an exact recipe right now because I'm still kind of figuring out ratios and everything and water and stuff because I did add water to these to thin them down. Um, but we've got Artist Flow Black that we're using right here. And then I have got um, Deco Art. Matte Metallics, and that's Pearl. Next up, I have DecoArt Extreme Sheen Copper. Very pretty. Very lovely, luscious color. Love that. And then we have this is a mix of Sergeant Art Liquid Metallic Blue and this is the red one, but they come in jars like this and they're just the Liquid Metallic Acrylic Paint by Sergeant Art and yeah, that is the blue and mixed in with it is a little bit of Extreme Sheen uh, Sapphire. So we got that. That is very pretty as well. And we got the run off the stick. That nice little snot wiggle. Awesome. And this one. This is not that one. This one is. Liquitex Professional Heavy Body Acrylic Turquoise Deep. And into that, I put a couple of good squeezes of the Sergeant Art Acrylic Pearlescent Mixing Medium. And I got this. It looks like a really pretty pearlescent Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. If the camera's not picking up the correct color, that's pretty much the color I'm getting. So, yeah. About a Sleeping Beauty turquoise, I'd say. Really pretty. And it's got that. Okay. I could stare at that all day. This one. This one is a combination of... Liquitex Professional Heavy Body Acrylic, and this is the Phalo Green Yellow Shade. And with this, I deepened it a bit with just the Sargent Art um, Spectral Green in the bottle. And I also put couple of squirts of the 
pearlescent mixing medium in it, along with a tiny, a tiny little dash of the Black Flow by Artist Loft, just to kind of deepen it and get it to the shade I wanted, which I think is just beautiful. Very pretty, very deep green. Like a forest green or hooker's green, it's pretty. I like it. I'm not really getting the runoff of the stick on this one. But I mixed these all up last night, let them sit overnight. Some of them might have thickened. Hopefully I won't have too much of a bubble issue. And this one, this one is a combination of Deco Art Mount Metallics and this one is Bronze Age. Bronze Age mixed with a little bit of the chocolate brown and that is by Plaid Folk Art and it is a metallic acrylic paint. And it's very pretty as well. I love that. It's like a gold brown. It's very pretty. So, all right. And like I said, they're all mixed with mixed pouring medium and some water. So, okay. Probably gonna turn some music on for you and we'll start painting. Just let me start prepping my canvas and layering my paints.
with this piece. I love this. I love this piece. I wish you could see it in person. Oh my gosh. And I am loving the new mix. 
pouring medium. Once you let it sit a while and allow the bubbles to pop from all the mixing, oh, it pours like a dream. It pours like an absolute dream. So, yeah. Here is our Kathleen Osmore inspired piece. I hope I did you proud. I hope you like it. I love it. And all of you watching, I hope you liked it too. Here are some close-ups of it. Yeah, I'm sorry for my lights. Sorry about that. But look at that. Look at those cells that came up with that open cup. That traveling open cup just created the most beautiful blue cells and turquoise cells. Oh, just gorgeous. Oh, I'm in love with this. That. Oh, pretty. Come on, focus camera. Hmm. There. Oh. It's so pretty. Hugs and loves, y'all. Bye.